Hello folks, uh, in this video we're going to take a look at some uh, interesting knives from Europe and uh, I'm going to talk about the uh, knives from uh, a regional manufacturer in France, uh, MC Cognier, uh, who are very famous for their uh, frontier knives. Um, here I have the Dok Dok. Uh, which is one of uh, the most um, interesting knives that I've come across and I've read so much about uh, this knife and came across uh, you know some discussion about it uh, on the uh, internet uh, way back when um, forums were really um, busy and all that and I finally um, got a taste of it when I visited uh, a friend in France um, Tuan, who is also a contributor to a magazine um, called uh, Passion for Cutlery or Passion de Couture. Um, he took me to a knife shop in uh, central Paris and uh, you know and introduced me to the uh, Cognier knives, uh, particularly the uh, Duke Duke. So here I have uh, two models this is the Squirrel and this is the Tiki. Uh, Dukes, Duke Dukes are well known uh, actually around the, uh, the world. Uh, French colonies in Africa, uh, in the South America and in uh, the uh, Pacific, particularly at the um, French uh, Polynesia. They are, the knives are actually used by the uh, uh, French uh, colonists and all that. And the Duke Duke became also pretty notorious during the uh, French-Algerian War. Um, MC Cognier was uh, set up in 1895. Uh, they are roughly about 180 years uh, old in the business and uh, the uh, fourth generation uh, Cognier, uh, Pierre Cognier is now running the show and the uh, Duke Duke uh, itself also has uh, evolve uh, from the simple slip joint you see here to some really fancy um, cutlery you know to just, just to keep up with times uh, basically this is a slip joint it has a very strong uh, spring and uh, what keeps it from folding back is the spring in the handle now there's a tip about using this uh, knife uh, some of these guys they, they want they don't want to uh, fold the knife they want to keep it at the ready at all times what they do they take a hammer and flatten the uh, the, sh the steel uh, handle, the sheet steel handle. Once it gets flattened, the knife will never fall back. So they just rig it up like a prison shank. So that's how this knife became a, a fixed blade from a folder. Anyway, the, um, the Tiki design is quite interesting. It has, uh, it has the word Duke Duke uh, etched on it and uh, the blade geometry itself uh, is pretty interesting from a from a glance it looks like a traditional chinese uh, broadsword and the more pleasing ones would be the uh, drop point here which is uh, modeled after the uh, squirrel um, there's a little uh, lanyard holder here uh, for you to attach a lanyard for on the knife once you fold it the secondary feature is to prevent the the duk duk from uh, opening. It's, it's just it's, it's quite an ingenious way of doing things. Um, the duk duk retails around twenty five euros uh, a piece nowadays. Uh, that literally translate to somewhere around one hundred fifteen to one hundred twenty uh, Malaysian ringgit. And uh, this is something that. You know, if you if you travel abroad, if you go to France and all that, uh, you probably find it at the cutlery shop. But uh, in our context, uh, in Malaysia, I, I I I I've hardly seen any. But having said that, there are some really uh, obsessive uh, collectors who will source for this knife by going into uh, online shops uh, in in France itself, uh, since it's a provincial knife. They can get the duk duk from from a retailer and have it sent here via post, and and since this is so uh, you know quite timid looking, it doesn't give you the uh, so-called tactical scare, but have, with this uh, colorful history, especially during the French Algerian War, 
the Duke Duke has actually carved up quite a colorful reputation. Um, again, this is the knife that uh, uh, most uh, people in the French colony is quite used to. And, uh, you know, according to uh, research, this is quite uh, famous from, from, from the Amazons to the uh, French Polynesia. So, uh, again, like I said, uh, if, you, if you have never heard of the uh, Duke Duke, it's good to do a bit of research because I think the French knives are not limited to Opinel and Layol. Um, there are many other smaller companies, but the Duke Duke is uh, quite legendary. Well, there we have it, um, the MC Cognier Duke Duke. Uh, thank you very much for watching.